Alright guys, so let's get into ingredients for our fungi and our steam fish. So on this side here, I have all my fungi ingredients. So I have here some cornmeal soaking in water. I have some okra. I have a maggi cube. You can use salt if you want to, but I prefer to flavor up my fungi. And we're also going to need some butter. Um, on the other side here... I have the ingredients that I'm going to be putting in my steam fish. I just have some onions, garlic, sweet peppers, some pimento seeds, some carrots, and some more okra. Okay, and I already seasoned and, um, well, I washed my fish really well and seasoned them up really well as well. So those are on the side just waiting to go into the pot. I'm using two um, red snappers today for my steam fish. So I just added my okra to a pot here with some water and to the pot I'm going to be adding my maggi cube and also my butter, okay? Alright guys, so we're just going to allow this pot to just sit and boil up and then we'll move on from there. So guys, our pot is boiling up lovely, so what we're going to do now, we're going to actually throw off half of the water and set it aside and then we're going to be adding our cornmeal to the remaining water. Alright, so to the remaining water, we're going to go in with our cornmeal. And we're just going to start mixing it. Let's just leave it for a little bit to start boiling up and it's going to thicken. Continue to stir. Now our grandparents and maybe even our parents would have used what we call a ton tick or a turn stick but all I have is a wooden spoon so that's what I'm working with. So when it starts to get less manageable we're going to go in with some of that aqua water that we had set aside. So if you notice that as I'm turning, I'm kind of pressing it to the side. And that is basically to iron out any lumps that would have been forming while you're cooking the fungi, okay? We don't want any lumpy fungi, we want our fungi nice and smooth. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in some more of that okra water. Thank you. 
in a few I'm going to be adding in that last amount of my aqua water that would be the last of the aqua water and then we're going to just allow this fungi to get cooked completely Now when you see a fungi start to easily draw away from the side, you know that we're almost finished here. When you taste it and you can taste that there's not the graininess going on in there then, and it's nice and smooth, then you know that it's almost time to take your fungi off, alright? So I have a bowl here that I went ahead and oiled up with just some regular cooking oil and I'm going to be taking some of my fungi and rolling it in this bowl. There you have it guys, this is my fungi. Yes guys. I should have rolled it in a bigger bowl to kind of bring it together better but yes, I'll probably do that with the rest and show it better when I'm plating but yes guys, fungi. Let's move on to our steam fish. So we got our pan here ready to start our steam fish and we're going to start with some butter. I'm going in with my okra. Going in with all my veggies. And I put my okra first because it was frozen okra. Now to all this goodness, we're going to add our fish. Now we're going to just put a little water in the seasoned container for, from our fish and just add it to the pot. Then we're going to cover this and allow everything to steam. This is looking gorgeous guys. I'm going to flip my fish onto the next side. Flip. I'm going to take a spoon and try to get some of this goodness on top of our fish here. I'm going to test for salt and these won't be on for more than another maybe two minutes. Perfection. So at this point I'm going in with some red pepper flakes and that's just for heat to give this some spice.
yet. And guys, we are basically done cooking our steamed fish and our fungi. I'm gonna go ahead and plate up. And there you have it guys, my steamed fish and fungi recipe. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment just to let me know that you are here. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this gorgeous plate of food. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.